bringing pop culture to your door every single month. What's inside the BAM Pop Culture Box for February 2019? The look has changed, but what's inside, you'll still find collectibles, autographs, and memorabilia from the folks over at BAM. This is BAM Pop Culture Box for February 2019. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up and see what we got inside. Hope everybody's New Year. I know it's been late to say this, but I hope everybody's New Year 2019 has been shaping up to be good so far. We are now, I guess, knee deep in March. I'm going to reach over to the other side and cut the tape here. Weather here in sunny Canada, that would be the, that'd be the joke. Uh, unfortunately, it's still downtrodden with, with bad weather. We're still getting winter on a regular basis. How's weather doing in your neck of the woods? Let me know down below. It's always interesting to speak and talk to you guys because a lot of times you guys are all around the world. Right now, you could be having sunny weather. Right now, you could be having... Uh, you could be having tornadoes. I really hope you don't have tornadoes. I mean, that's that's never a good thing. That's definitely not a good thing. But uh, let me know down below how everybody is shaping up so far for 2019. We're going to go ahead, by the way, and as I've been discussing weather conditions, your locations in the world, I have been opening up. You didn't even realize it. That's the sleight of hand. That's what I do. Uh, I was opening up, though, the BAM Pop Culture Box, and it looks to me like we've got ourselves an animated cell. Hmm, color me interested. I'm going to very, very carefully, of course not damaging the plastic there, very carefully cut the tape. There we go. Yeah, everything's still okay. And what do we have inside but a animation cell from Fat Albert. One of my go-tos when I watched as a kid. I used to love watching Fat Albert. I still have many of my Fat Albert episodes comprised onto the DVD sets that I picked up. A very hard to find set nowadays. I think they actually released it in two volumes. Still, I can't remember the last time I actually watched Fat Albert. Down below you can see it's an original hand-painted production cell from Filmation. Filmation, also, you know, the same company that did He-Man, She-Ra, and all those classic cartoons from the 80s. That is a fantastic... I'm going to have to find a place... To, I'm going to frame that. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. I'm going to frame it. Also included inside as well. What do we have here? Just put that back for a second. This is the Strate Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement Logistics Division. What does that stand for? Shield. Shield. <laughs> I drew a blank there for some strange... I don't know why I drew a blank for that. Shield. What does that stand for? Where are we? What time is this? What year? That is a neat looking shield. As you can see, it pins to the back there. You can put that on a denim jacket. I always say denim jacket. Everybody's like, everybody laughs at me when I say denim jacket. How does this open? This opens, this swings, as far as I know, swings across, and then the pin drops out. And you just loop that onto a jacket. I guess if you wanted to, you could also frame this. Just put this onto a fabric backdrop, shadow box it. Oh, I'm all about the shadow boxes. Again, that's a really fantastic badge. All metal. I don't know why this would be the indicator to you, but it's all metal gear. That looks awesome. Uh, what else do we have in here? We've got another pin. This is the pop, uh, BAM pop culture collectible enamel pin. And it looks like it's amalgamation together, a mushing together of Deadpool and Pikachu called, well, it says got to catch them all, but it doesn't say what the name of this, what, what would this name Pika, Pika pool? Would it be Pika pool? Pika pool? Would it be that easy? Dead a chew? I guess Pika Poo. Pika Poo. That sounds a lot better. Pika. Pika. Dead Chool? I don't know. <laughs> Scraping here. Let me know how, how would you name this, this colorful character here? Dead a chew? Pika Pool? I'm going to go with Pika Pool. I'm going to go with Pika Pool. That's my, that's my, I'm locking it in. Is that your final? I'm locking it in. I'm locking in my vote. 
That's a nice looking pin though. You know, that's gonna have to find another place, my friends. Perhaps on the denim jacket, who knows? I mean, we just repeatedly throw stuff to the denim jacket. It's just, it's blinged all over the place. What do we got going on here? Ron Burgundy. Now this looks to be a watercolor print. It does look like it's been done in watercolor. It's 27 also out of 2,500. What do we got here on the flip side? On the flip side, we've got Certificate of Authenticity. This BAM Pop Culture Box Fan Art Collection Art Print Ron has been hand signed by artist Rehab for the BAM Box and is guaranteed to be authentic. How about that? Oh, very nice. I, probably one of my favorite of the Will Ferrell movies, that Step Brothers. And I also really like The House. Something about that. Something about that I really dug. What's your favorite Will Ferrell movies? Oh, there we go. Let me know down below. We've also got an autographed print. Is that from Lou Diamond Phillips? Lou Diamond Phillips has signed this art print. This is, of course, Young Guns. I don't know if this is Young Guns 1, Young Guns 2. Let's have a look on the back. This 8x10 photograph has been hand-signed by Lou Diamond Phillips, who played Chavez, why, Chavez Chavez in Young Guns. It was signed during a private signing with the band box and is guaranteed to be authentic. How about that? Lou Diamond Phillips, I also think of La Bamba. And just recently, now that I have a wee one, uh, he's also been in the Giggles, the Giggles, the Wiggles, the Wiggles a couple of times. I think he sang for Rock and Roll High School. Yes, we, we all watch weird things when we, we have children. But that's not bad. There he is right there, Mr. Lou Diamond Phillips. Also, has just been a sporadic thing of different shows. He was also in Stargate, the last. Didn't really care for it, Stargate. Uh, so this is all the stuff that we got this go-around for the BAM Pop Culture third anniversary spoiler sheet. Oh, this was also for January 2019. Inside, we got the Bambox exclusive Gotta Catch Them All fan art pins by artist Brian Romero. There was three different various ones to go with. There was the Deadpool Pikachu. Uh, there was the Venom Charizard. Is that Charizard? And Bulbasaur was the Hulk. Pretty cool. Pretty cool in all of those, actually. Also an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. badge from Dark Matter Props. Tahiti, it's a magical place. Wear your S.H.I.E.L.D. badge with honor. Uh, this replica from Dark Matter Props displays nicely and can be worn for cosplay purposes. Down below also there was the BAM Box exclusive Ron fan art collection art print by Artist Rehab. Two various ones to choose from, regular Ron Burgundy, and then of course the gang, the groups, the group. And then there was an autograph from Lou Diamond Phillips. There he is right there, Mr. Lou Diamond Phillips. Now, would he just be called Lou? Close friends just call him Lou? Would people call him Lou Diamond? Mr. Diamond Phillips? Mr. Phillips? Mr. Lou Phillips? So even like without Diamond, I feel like I'm doing a disservice to him. I feel like I have to put the Diamond in there. If not, it's just Lou Phillips. That's not very exciting. Lou Diamond Phillips? That's where it's at. That's where it's at. And these are the various ones that he had opportunity to sign. This is the one I end up getting right here, which I actually quite like, the fact that it's got the full cast there. On the back, uh, what else we got here? One of a kind animation cell from Animation Inc. Archive. Various ones to choose from, some Back to the Future. Which one was this one? This is, I'm trying to place what this one is. Is this the Ghostbusters? That looks like that could be Peter Venkman, possibly Winston Zedmore. Is this go? It might be Ghostbusters, and then there's Ewoks, which I think was Nelvana, Ghostbusters. I'm trying to remember, was it Deke? Uh, the Back to the Future, I think, was also Deke, and then Filmation did the, uh, the Fat Albert, which actually is not even the one I got. I didn't get this one. Uh, there's also a poster giveaway. Win this 12 by 17 poster signed by Eldon Hansen, who plays Foggy Nelson in Daredevil. Uh, head over to the community page at www.thebambox forward slash community. There you go. You can you can enter the draw and win yourself this schnazzy, schnazzy looking poster. There you go, guys. A fantastic unboxing from the folks over at Bambox. This was the BAM Pop Culture third anniversary, I might also add, for January 2019. 
You want to subscribe and get one of these boxes delivered to your house every single month? It's easy, it's easy my friends, my colleagues, as heading over, there's the website right there, www.thebandbox.com. Easy peasy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Make sure as well you hit that little subscribe button down below if you're new to this channel, haven't subscribed before. And if you are new to this channel, just drop a hello. I'd like to say hello back and then we can start this virtual relationship, you being the one that views this material, I being the one that creates this material, sort of a happy medium. You're the bumblebee and I'm the flower. I guess that's, that you're leaving my reviews to go make honey. I, I don't know. I don't know. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. More videos will also be coming soon to this channel and see you guys next time.